Hey guys, how's it going? New video from Passive Passion Online Income, where in today's video I'm going to be addressing uh, not a problem, but it was actually a question which was asked to me by one of my followers. And yes, this is pertaining to the self publishing business. So the question was how, or to rephrase it now, or to put it across straight, would be is there really a tipping point for the self publishing business? This was a question that was asked to me, and here's my answer. Now, before I give my detailed analysis, I would just like to give you some trivia and also test your brain juices. Tell me something. Do you guys think there's going to be an end to, let's assume, or let's say, the beauty services or grooming services in, 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 in today's world? Do you think there's going to be an end to it? No, right? You are going to go and take care of yourself. You are going to go and take care of all the essential grooming services. That could be something pertaining to your haircut it could be something related to the upkeeping of your beard if if you're a guy if you're a female it could be related to your haircut it could be related to your manicure pedicure waxing you name it and you know it so do you think all these services are going to come to an end absolutely not it's the same thing with the self-publishing business do you think people are going to stop reading books do you think people are going to stop being hungry to acquire or learn and gain as much knowledge that they can do you think so absolutely not so now let me come back and give you my detailed analysis about this particular business you see self-publishing is a business which is gonna continue to go on and on I mean I really do not see a tipping point or a, or a point of saturation for this business provided you really, really know how to tap the market and make and, and make the best use out of it because Let's say if you start with the health and fitness niche and you are going to get into an already saturated market, then obviously your books are going to die into oblivion. But if you know that the market that you're going to get into has a least amount of competition, but at the same time, there's a hungry demand by the readers or the clientele that is visiting that particular niche, then you can easily try to, then you can easily dominate that particular niche or that particular market. So people who think that self-publishing is going to come to an end you know uh, let's say if if Amazon comes to a closure what are we gonna do it's it's completely false guys because you can still make use of the other platform platforms like draft digital platforms like Ingram spark you know uh, Barnes and Nobles there there's still a plethora of opportunities out there so don't uh, you know go into that nutshell and uh, refrain yourself from publishing or getting into this business it's the best and the easiest of the most convenient business to get started with i wouldn't say i wouldn't say that you should rely on this particular business alone of course you need to be focusing and trying to build multiple businesses because focusing on one business is plain foolishness you got to build as many businesses that you can so that you are able to complement each of the businesses in one way or the other so get started with self-publishing, do your research well, check out the markets properly, check out the uh, uh, niches that you want to get into or, or be part of where you're going to be publishing a book and focus on building a brand. What I mean by that is don't just publish one book, you know, don't don't use a shotgun approach where you have one book in the self-help, you have one book in the computer program niche, you have one book in the business and investing niche. Try to create a book brand out of it, build relevant books in that particular niche alone. Make sure that there's a, there's a series, there's a chain of books that you keep out pumping so that your readers have a lot of options, you know, to buy those books and uh, uh, help themselves. So think about that. And talking about Amazon, just because if you're going to be scared, thinking that if Amazon is going to close, our books are, I mean, our books business is going to go, go crushing it. As long as you follow the rules and regulations, okay, or the parameters that are set by Amazon, you are not going to have any issues at all. But then again, having said that, you also don't want your business to be managed or operated by one particular company, right? You don't want them, them to be the dominating factor. And that's the reason I said that get started with self-publishing business and then foray into the other businesses, which you would enjoy. Don't, do, don't get into a business just for the sake of earning money. If that's your purpose, then I think you need more guidance, you know, maybe well, perhaps from a psychologist. Because if you want to get into a business, think of getting into it by becoming a problem solver. What are the issues that people are encountering? What are the problems that people come across? It could be it could be in, uh, in terms of relationships. It could be in terms of uh, uh, providing.
providing good products for a certain market or for a certain entity. What can you bring into the table from a from a unique perspective that is going to help them out? Think about all these things, guys. So, to so I hope you've uh, got enough insights out of it. All right, and. Uh, don't think that there's a tipping point. As long as you do your market research properly, you do your due diligence properly, and you keep churning out good products, okay, and build a strong customer base, there's no way that your business is gonna go crashing. Be be on your toes always. Be on your toes and make sure that you are a guy who's aware of what's happening, okay? Don't just leave your products on a certain product shelf and then sit back and relax. Monitor it. At the same time, constantly keep enhancing that particular product or the feature or the service that you're putting out on the market. All right. Talk to you soon. More videos coming up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. All right. You guys take care. God bless.